the Soviets have indicated they are not participating in the Los Angeles Olympics, primarily because the United States has made no attempt to guarantee the safety of the Soviet Union's athletes. The United States is increasingly demonstrating the belief that the issue has nothing to do with its preparations, and in fact this is retaliation for the Western nation's boycott of the previous Moscow Olympics. That concludes today's news. That's quite some news. The uh, Soviet Union not attending the LA Olympics? Yeah. Andropov's death has changed some things. They're calling it revenge for the Western boycott of the Moscow Olympics. Countries boycotted the Moscow Olympics? Yes. In protest of the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan, over 50 countries were absent. It's too bad I didn't get to see Yamashita's judo. When the 40th Army crossed the Amu River four years ago, detente went right out the window. The U.S. Congress chose not to ratify SALT II, and Reagan's hardline politics won in the presidency in a landslide. According to him, the Soviet Union's an evil empire. The Second Cold War. And there's been no end to regional conflicts and civil wars. Lebanon, the Falklands, Grenada, Iran, Iraq. The story never changes. Egypt and Israel did sign a peace treaty. But then the driving force on the Egyptian side, President Sadat, was assassinated afterward. Apparently his actions were considered a betrayal of his fellow Arabs. Islamic extremists? Yes. Fundamentalist extremists have been responsible for some bold acts of terrorism in recent years. We've had extremist students in Iran take U.S. Embassy workers hostage and suicide bombings in Lebanon. Over 300 foreign soldiers stationed there have been killed. But countries have yet to develop an effective means of dealing with terrorism. Afraid of losing their own men, they've pulled their forces out, handing private forces a golden opportunity. Private forces? Small armies with no national affiliation, working for the highest bidder. That's right, they got the idea from you. After Mother Base went down, they began spreading to meet the soaring demand. Miller's organization is just one of many PFs now. The entire world is after you. But at the same time, it needs you too. <laughs>